<laughs> and it affected me for a while, but I couldn't let, couldn't carry that cross the rest of my life, so I just learned to let it go. I still have scars, like to this day, I cannot stand the taste of cock. I cannot stand it. Like if I'm at a party, hey, you want some dick? I'll turn into a big cat right there in the living room. <laughs> is that um, we all lived together in this house up behind Comedy Store. It was called Crest Hill. And that's where Mitzi Shore used to rent us a room off our $125 a piece. So when me and Sam were doormen, we'd all uh, crash in this one pad. And that's where we had all of our comedy parties. That's where we met everybody. But the, he had loaned uh, another comic $1,500 when he first started making money. And about six months had gone by, and the guy started ditching us. And so we had a big party up at Crest Hill now that you know, money's in our life, and so we went and celebrated with all the guys that were now living there and paying $125 a month, and they were starving, barely getting by. We went up there and bought them a big feast and laid out the table, put the food out there, and we waited for this one guy to come, and he never showed up. And he goes, hey, where's the guy that owes me the money that, you know, borrowed 1500 and never paid me back? And he goes, oh, he went to the airport to pick up his brother. He'll be here. He goes, great, because, you know, I want to tell him that he, I don't expect him to pay me back right away, but don't ditch me either. You know, just, I know he ain't got the money. He's not working. He's starving like I used to starve. So, you know, I got the money. It's not like I need it, but I, don't, I hate it when people ditch me. I never ditched anybody. So as the night went on, we were drinking even more and stuff. Then the subject came back about this guy ditched him. He goes, yeah, where is his room, by the way? He goes, it's up on the top of the hall. It's the door right next to the entrance door. And he goes, come on, everybody. So like 12 of us got up. We walked up, and so we all had keys to our own rooms, you know, and so this kid obviously did too. So Sam went up, and the door was locked, so he's, bam, he just busted the door in. It's just a smaller room, a bed, and a drawer, and a bathroom. He goes, this is his bed. We go, yeah, so he stood up on the bed. He takes his, and he pees all over the bed, right? He goes, that's what the guy gets for ditching me. Just then we heard keys at the door. <laughs> so we all go running, all 12 of us come running out. We all stand at the door, and the door, and Sam goes, and opens the door, and there's this guy, and he's standing there, and he's, he's like, hello, man. There's like a whole group of us. And Sam goes, hey, listen, just want you to know, you borrowed $1,500 off me six months ago. You've been ditching me for the last two months. I don't like that, so I just went in your bedroom, I pissed all over your bed. Then now we're even. And the guy goes, and turns to his brother and goes, See, I told you I knew him. <laughs> <laughs>